Yo, yo, what's up, guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I want to show you, using the Heartbeat tool, some of the most incredible stuff I have seen in a very long time, at least in the AI space. Today, a whole bunch of YouTubers, but in this one, we're going to focus on Marques Brownlee's video, but I'm going to show you 16 moments of the new open AI Sora. It hasn't been released yet, but they're showing us what it can do. And all I'm going to say is just my, my jaw was on the floor the whole time. This is absolutely crazy. This is exactly why we created the Heartbeat tool, so we could show you the best parts and skip the fluff. And just you're just not going to believe what you're, what's coming here. So anyways, lock in. Let's go. All right, so here we go. I am on Heartbeat. It's H.KI, or H key, as George likes to say. And I've got a bunch of moments picked out for you. In fact, I've got about 18 of them. And let me tell you, this, mo this, this video has even more, but these are the best 18. And yes, the stuff you saw at the beginning, that was all generated with Sora. It's that good. So let's kick it off here. And uh, the first one here, I'm going to click on it here. And it's called Impressive AI generated videos just changed forever. So let's kick in. Do you guys remember that Will Smith eating uh, spaghetti video? Yeah, things have changed. Here we go. All right, so this is simultaneously really impressive and really frightening at the same time. And it's hitting me in ways that I didn't really expect. So do you remember Will Smith <laughs> eating spaghetti? Do you remember when this was what AI generated videos look like? Remember? Do you remember this? Look at his A and B, <laughs> men in black face right there. Well, yeah, it's really changed. Let's keep going a little bit here. When we said, okay, this AI stuff is cool and all, but clearly there's a long way to go before there's any need for concern. Yeah, well, let's skip forward a little bit here and let's go to welcome to the future. It's, it's different now. Welcome to the future, people, because this is also an AI generated video. And so is this completely synthesized out of thin air what? by computers. This one too. This is not real. Absolutely ridiculous how far we've come in literally one year. This Yeah, that's the most important key point here is that Will Smith spaghetti video was one year ago and you could see where it was going, but it was pretty damn bad. In one year, those videos you just saw are now what you can do with this new platform or with Sora. Can you imagine what's coming down the road? Anyways, let's skip forward a little bit here and let's let's look at uh, Marcus's uh, concerns about people like us, people like you potentially that create content. And maybe I'm overreacting because, okay, I'm a video creator. So an AI that's actually doing my job, maybe that feels a little more threatening. So I'm particularly impressed by it, but also this, this stuff is really good. So today, Sam Altman and yeah. OpenAI announced a new model called Sora, and it can generate full up to one minute video clips from just text input. So the same. Yes. So from just typing in text, for those of you that have used Midjourney or some of those other models out there, maybe you've Dolly, Dolly 2, Dolly 3, et cetera, et cetera. It's now video, literally text to video up to one minute long. It gets better. Same way Dolly was able to understand our text input and turn it into yeah. a photorealistic or stylized image or whatever you want. Same thing with Sora, but now since it's videos, it also needs to understand how all these things like reflections and textures and materials and physics all interact with each other over over time. So there you go. There you have it from him. This is here now. I mean, it's still being red team tested. Don't get me wrong. It's not something you can log in and use tonight, but it's under testing. They've shown you the basics of what it can do, and it has the reflections, the physics, the multiple characters, the consistent characters, persistent characters. So you create a character in the, in the first second, it looks the same in the 60th second. We've all been looking for that consistent character thing in AI. I want my character to look the same in the same in the images. Well, OpenAI just, just just said, screw that. That was a that was a checkers move. Now they're playing chess, 3D chess. They jumped it, Frogger style. Let's skip forward here. And he talks about, well, he talks about the the what's coming. This is also the worst that this technology is going to be from here on out. So, okay, here's one of the videos. Yeah. There's no audio to any of these clips, but the prompt for this one is 
A stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with warm, glowing neon and animated city signage. She wears a black leather jacket, a long red dress, and black boots. Now, look at the video. Look at the reflections in, in the water on the street, the lighting. The, this is absolutely insane. It's not perfect, but it's like 90% of the way there. It's crazy. Let's skip forward. I want to show you another one. This is simulated drone footage. Again, text to video using Sora. Okay, how about this one? This is another one which has a long prompt about a camera following behind a white vintage SUV with a black roof rack as it speeds up a steep dirt road. This is also, again, really good. It kind of looks a little more video gamey because of how rock solid the drone footage is, but clearly very usable. Just look at that. That is absolutely amazing. I can't get over it. Want some more here? You're still not convinced? How about Golden Retriever's puppies? Watch the physics in the fur in the snow. This is just mental. Here's another one. A litter of Golden Retriever what? puppies playing in the snow. Their heads pop in and out of the snow, covered in it. It's so good. It feels like the physics of the fur and the ears and yeah. everything with the snow flying around in slow motion is incredible. I've looked... Look at the floppy ears and the fur and the little nib nibbles, like... Those are look like real golden retrievers. That is just absolutely out of control. I cannot believe this. I don't get too impressed by many things these days. This one does it. Now, let's go skip forward here where he talks about the various models and how fast they are improving. We're going to go to the four-minute mark. To say how insanely fast these models are improving yeah. is genuinely, like, that's the shocking part. Like, I remember not even that many months ago, Dolly 3 really really high end and you could always still find something off about it like especially if you ask it for something like a photorealistic image of a human sh something about like the hands or the ears would always just be a little bit off never mind yeah or the eyes guys if and and it's still not a hundred percent there the eyes have that vacant you know they just got back from the war stare you know what i'm talking about but anyways it's there this is all happening within one year that will smith to this in one year is just absolutely crazy this also kind of makes me wonder about the exponential is this like a this is, doesn't seem to be a linear increase this seems to be an exponential curve here in terms of what's happening and whether or not it continues like that or it slows down i don't know but just mine equals blown that's all i'm going to say here I'm going to go forward and I'm going to show you another amazing thing made with Sora. It's called Movie Trailer, 30-Year-Old Spaceman. Yeah, you heard it here. This one, they typed in a movie trailer featuring the adventurers of the 30-Year-Old Spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle yeah. helmet, blue sky, salt desert, cinematic style, shot on 35 millimeter film. Unbelievable. Guy. Un unbelievable. That's all I'm going to say, although... This looks to be garbledy goop uh, text, but anyways, let's 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 hear some of his uh, things that he didn't quite like about this video, or that may that that could use some improvement. And the close-ups of his face, the fabrics on the helmet, yep. the film grain through every shot, and the cinematic style. This is one of the most convincing AI-generated videos I've ever seen, minus maybe the weird physics of that dude walking kind of in fast. Yeah, his, <laughs> he's walking like a cartoon. Ocean. So Sam Altman, if you follow him on Twitter, he's going through a whole bunch more of like people's requests and posting a bunch more generate. Yes, another extremely important point, guys. If you go to Twitter, they're popping up. Like people are giving him random prompts and he's creating videos using Sora. Of course, he's making sure that they're, uh, you know, appropriate and they don't offend people, so to speak, but, or not too offensive. I'm not, uh, I, I'm not one of those uh, wokey types, but uh his, his his Twitter feed tonight is absolute fire, at Sam on uh, Twitter. You gotta go watch it. Anyways, guys, uh, let's skip forward a little further here. I want to show you uh, one thing that could happen from this, which is the end of stock video. Let's hear it from him first. But it's also perfect for stock footage. Like, there are already all kinds of presentations and advertisements and then PowerPoints that are in need of oddly specific stock videos 
Yes. So if you have shares in Shutterstock, <laughs> yeah, you might want to get out of there now or whatever the heck all those places are that charge you Adobe. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Adobe. I'm on to you uh, for all that fancy uh yeah, stock footage, that's going to go the way of the dodo. And to be honest, as a developer, a web developer, and a you know a video creator, good. Anyways, let's keep going forward. Uh, one more thing I want to show you is his opinion as to what this all boils down to. What does it all mean? Here we go. So, what does this all mean? Well, I mean, there's what it means now, and there's what it means for the future. Now, Sora, this thing that they've made, is clearly a really impressive video generation AI tool Fair. that is both going to fool people and also be very useful. Yeah, it's election year coming up in the United States. And I mean, if this thing gets released, they could have politicians and people doing unbelievably crazy things all generated through AI. So I'm pretty sure they're going to be very careful with its release and, and with uh, whatever railings they put in with this. But uh, that's the one thing I wanted to talk to you about. And look at this. Here he talks about the future, and in particular, existential risk. The future? <laughs> gets, it gets pretty existential, man. I mean, yeah. okay, if this is trained on all videos that have ever been made by humans, then surely it can't be innovative or creative in ways that humans haven't already been right? I don't know. Either way, I'll have all the links below for all the Sora stuff, for OpenAI stuff, and I guess I'll talk to you next year when we look back and go, remember that first version of Sora and how bad those yeah. pups looked when they spawned out of nowhere? Just remember, this is the worst that this technology is going to be. There you heard it there. This is the worst this technology is going to be. It can do all of this right now, and it's only going to get better. I don't even know what this means. I don't think he knows what this means. We don't know what the future is going to be, but uh, there you go, guys. Unbelievable tech. Thanks for watching.